Last episode we had a massive robot ambush, and we got a bunch of upgrades. Uh, we got a new weapon for Pazepi, but we also went through and modded our weapons in a way that we haven't... I hadn't been so far. I say we as if to pass the blame. So now the question is whether there's going to be any more ambushes around here, or if we're in the clear. Nothing over here. Oh, it looks like the railroad actually wraps around this way. Alright. Might as well follow the railroad a little bit more then. No, stop! Stop it! Damn it. Oh, it's kind of a bummer you can't, uh... As far as I can tell, you can't disable notifications on PlayStation 4 unless you want to flat out never know you ever have a message. It's weird. My preferred setting would be that, uh... Individual control here. I would prefer to be able to make it so the pop-up doesn't happen, but I still have a notification on my dashboard when I look at it. But last time I disabled notifications, I realized that I had like a month worth of messages that it just wasn't telling me were in my inbox until I physically loaded my inbox. Because the I, I, what I want is like, you know, like, the equivalent of like, have, having the, the push notification saying you have this many text messages on your phone without ha without the phone actually flipping out and making noise every time you, uh, get said messages. That does not seem to exist on the PS4, or at least not last time I tried. What was that? Is that a person that's still alive? Um... Hello? Vax. Objects, enemies... Friends. It does call him a friend. There's a guy named Vax here. Um. Can I talk to you? I can't talk to him, as far as I can tell. Oh, maybe I need to repair him. Computer science character. Oh, uh, maybe I can recruit him or something. 100% chance of success. Let's go ahead and save real quick. First, I was like, why isn't this guy working? Like, oh yeah, duh. Hi, my name is Vax. Human Cyborg Relations. How may I be of assistance? We're going, we're going straight for the reference to, uh... We are going straight for that reference to, uh, C-3PO. Alright, what? Who? You want to assist me? I am programmed to imprint upon the first person who gives me orders, and that was you, sir. I am now yours to command. Okay. Are you gonna follow me? Oh my god. I just have a robot companion specifically on my medic. I guess she has a guard now. Does he die the moment for does he die forever? He's not a party member, so I assume I don't control him. I wonder interesting. This'll be interesting. I might I might have to research how that, that type of character works. I, I get the feeling he's like the goat, where he's just gonna follow me around on his own, but of course he's wielding a gun and stuff, so he'll be a little bit more capable. This will probably give me more use out of my computer science and or mechanical repair skills if he takes damage. I don't see any... I don't see any mines around here. There's a toaster. Alright. Everyone regroup around here. Who's good with toasters? 78% chance, that's a pretty high chance for once. Quick save, though. I don't- I don't like to save scum the toasters, because they're usually kind of big deals as far as loot goes, I think. But, uh, I will totally... I'll reload if I critically fail and, and destroy it. But I won't sit there and try over and over again to break the, uh, percentage. I'll just come back when I have a proper stat. Heavy weapon, 150 damage, Sabot rocket. Let's give that to Sally so she can carry it. I don't know if I'm gonna be using it right away. At the moment, no one's really using, uh, heavy weapons, but I probably should fix that at some point. Part of me is kind of just hoping that I'll suddenly have a new character who's good with heavy weapons. Because, you know, how Vulture's kind of redundant a little bit. Although Vulture's getting really good at sniping to the point where it doesn't really- I don't really mind having her around. Let's see. Ammo. At this point, if I could replace literally anyone from the party, uh, it would probably be Purnell, 
because he just uses pistols and he doesn't do that much damage and his but he does have he's he is building up a skill in mechanical repair and uh and demolition so at least that'll help make him more useful in the moment to moment let's do individual control in case we find another oh that's the exit is that it all right yeah regroup party at least he's getting more versatility for uh, other reasons as outside of combat, which will help validate his existence more in more of a the way that our surgeon does. All right. So I assume we're going back to the wasteland. I don't know. If, I, I assume we're going to be in a different chunk of map somewhere, a place I couldn't access before. I don't know if it'll be a different corner of the same map or a brand new map altogether. But I've heard indication there that there's probably more than one map in this game. What? Okay, that's unexpected. I'm just back at the same spot. Okay, so good news is we fought cool stuff and got a bunch of experience and a robot companion. Bad news is that it, that had nothing to do with my current goal of trying to get to... What's the name of the town? Demonta. Alright. Rats is in hand, we're now ready to search for Demonta. We'll find a way through the radiation cloud into the canyon that separates the ranger territory from Demonta. Let's see. I need to find Demonta. Find Demonta, suggest the, the residents of the prison know how to get there. Let's see. Red told us that Rick Bukowski, a desert ranger, knows the way to find to the rats. Knows where to find the rad suits that will get to Demonta. Last heard, the the Rangers went uh, AWOL and were heading, holding back to him at the Ranger Citadel. That's, that's probably the prisoner. Some comments I've indicated a few times. We deciphered a uh, coded radio message to learn that that the that read the scrap dealer was lying. He and Rick Bukowski are brothers. When confronted with this, he confessed and gave us the needed red suits. All right, I think they said it was probably east. I probably just keep going past these radiation clouds. I just need to find a, a, a space. We have, we should have high level. We should have high level rad suits. This, this is plus four radiation protection. Equip. So here's the two. So I just equipped. I just equipped the four. Then. I wish I could see the radiation suit I'm currently wearing. So now we have two of these. Can I scrap it? Nope. I have two level two radiation suits. Go and transfer that to. Sally, for pack mule reasons. So I have two level 2 suits, I'll just have to sell those. We're currently wearing a level 4 suit, I can tell, because I just equipped it. I don't see how to look at it, but it's fine. I don't know why I just quick saved. So, we should be immune to most of this- that's probably Demonta right there. Mysterious Shrine. Never mind, that's the shrine we do visited already. So I should be uh, oh, low chance of running. Sometimes violence isn't the answer, sometimes. Oh, we got away. Just do some exploring. Untouched cash. So I shouldn't be taking damage right now, right? Because I have level 4 suits. Alright. Lo hidden loot cash. Steel plate armor. Obviously it's conductive, which is a worry. Sabot rocket. Med kits. 54 scrap. I'm not going to complain. What can we find over here? Am I taking damage right now, or are we good? This is level 3. I have level 4 radiation armor, so I should be good, right? Your squad's taking damage from- oh, dehydration. Okay, I'll give you that. Greetings, travelers. Are you looking for a safe path to the east? Do you wish to journey to the Monta and beyond? Then let the servants of the Mushroom Cloud be your guides. The Canyon of Titan is the only clear route through the radiation. And we guarantee your safety within it from west to east and back again. All that is required is a small donation to our temple and your security is assured. If you can hear this message, you are almost to our canyon. Just keep heading to the east through the great glow until you reach the safety of our canyon. May Titan's peace be upon you.
Okay, weird. So they're offering a shelter. Wow, there's just radiation everywhere along this map. Kinda wish that the uh, symbols were a little bit more gradiated or something. So I, if I go to east, I'll get to Demonta. I'm kinda curious what's up here. Uh, dehydration's gonna be a problem though. I should probably stop exploring. Let's go where they said to go. Alright, at the very least I can probably heal up over here. Or to get more water. Canyon of Titan. Wonder what the donation is. I have money, I think. Oh wait, did I blow it all earlier? No, I, sh I should be pretty loaded from all that scrap that I got from <laughs> destroying all the red scorpions and obliterating all their dumb pistols. Alright, welcome to the canyon. Go ahead and quick save. So, took some damage from the fact that we uh, didn't have enough water. My mistake. Right now, Pizepi could use the heal. If I can find her in this huge group. There, he, there she is. And our robot's still here, which is good. So we still have that little piece of help. Probably gonna have to do certain things to try to keep him running. Uh, I think Purnell's now taking that extra damage I was talking about to make it more worthwhile. Try to heal him. Purnell. And once we finish this, I'll take a look at how many kits we have. Alright, how are we, how are we doing on... Uh, down to seven. That's not great news. All right, I'm gonna want to stock up on more of those soon. All right, put our best push forward, right? <laughs> we'll scout for mines, but I think that this place is safe for the reasons they've given us. Priority call. Urgent. Halt on progress to Demonta and repeat. Angela Guest, return to Ranger Citadel. Repeat. Angela Guest, please return to base. Ranger Team Echo, can you read me? Can you copy? Negative. Please resend. Echo one. This message is for Angela Guest. If he's still return to Ranger Command for new orders. I repeat. For Ranger Command ASAP. She is not to proceed to the Copy. Give me that mic. Come on, Snake. What are you doing to me? I'm on the trail of Ace's killers. I'm not turning around now. Angie, listen. Looking up an advanced team that will be flying out. Fix on that signal. I want you to leave. People behind Ace's death or anywhere, it's probably at that location. Is the command that'll get it. Come on home. That's an order. Thank you, Snake. Uh, General, I really appreciate it. You're too good to me. Death out. 10 4, Angie. Uh, Echo 1, listen. You lost signal. You appear in a dead zone. We may lose contact. Radio on. We will at regular intervals. Copy? Copy. 10 4, Echo one last thing. Signal data on the DeMonta radio telephone. We found a route to the east. Over. Affirmative, Ranger Command. We have a route. Good work, Echo. Dara will want to review. Return. DeMonta, ASAP. Another one. Review these broadcasts of more anxious than ever to learn where they're We need that tower. Copy? Copy. Echo one out. Roger, Echo-1. Good luck. Ranger- No. I can't ignore that order. I gotta go back and see what they want. I'll catch up with you later. Damn it, you're really useful. <laughs> Come back here. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm down a squad member, and a particularly high damage one, and they just kind of unloaded all of her crap onto this character that they- Ah! At least I, kept, at least I got to kept, keep the weapons. All right, might as well transfer that one over to Vulture. Because Vulture technically has some skill with uh, rifles. And we have it for now. Hopefully I'll find a character that can use that kind of weapon properly. Similarly, we should send that ammo over to her. All that assault rifle ammo. All right. I, sent it to, I just sent that to Pizepi, didn't I? Yep. Vulture. 
tactical vest compare. Alright, so that I have three, this is four. Let's go for melee range characters. You already have a tactical vest. You don't have one, and you're probably next in line. Uh Pranel could probably use one. Freaking leather freaking leather jackets. Uh when I when I choose somebody else to give it to, then you'll she'll have okay, uh let's give it to the medic. Because medics I need to be kept alive. And as a result, we can transfer this bulletproof shirt to our sniper, who's currently wearing a leather jacket. I believe that's our last leather jacket. Yep. Our other character is also good to go. So, leather jacket to our pack mule character that can carry all that because of the high strength stat. Similarly, let's give her the rockets so you don't get completely overloaded here. We just got covered in stuff here, didn't we? Farmer's Diary, Sturdy Mag. Extra ammo for everything. Shotgun ammo goes to shotgun character. SMGs and handguns. Let's see. We're mostly good there. We have a few ranger stars so we could put on. What's your current trinket? Leader? Oh yeah, plus two leadership. Makes sense. It's great for her because she doesn't have a crit chance to begin with. How's our inventory? Okay, we have two of these. We don't need two of these. We definitely don't need two of that. Oh, we have a lot of these. There we go, that helps us out. Right, we have to compare this new melee weapon I found. Uh Oh, it costs 5 AP. That's a bummer. But its damage is really high. Like, really high. 5 armor penetration, like... Something like 50% more damage. Yeah, this is noteworthy. It has the same... It has two more AP cost, yet still has almost the exact same damage per AP. So if I were to, for example, uh, remove the grip tape from the crowbar... What's my chance of removing it successfully? Oops. Remove mod. 75% chance. Apparently I have a bunch of grip tape anyway, so let's not... Let's not go throwing that away right away. But I have more grip tape. Then I'll take it down to 4 AP. So now this nightstick has a... Let's go ahead and compare it now. Now it has an efficiency of 15 damage per AP. Which is significantly higher. Let's see, is there anything else I can attach to it? A... you can attach weights to it. Let me go ahead and equip this. Seems to be a... Increase overall in quality. Hello, sniper shots. Get out of my inventory. You know where you belong. I don't know if I have any weights yet, though. I don't know if I've seen a weight yet. I could really use something like that. Let's see, you're the dismantler character. Grip tape, open chokes. Lots of open chokes. Those are the ones that increase the, co the range of the cone. Huh. Part of me wonders if I could just, like, dismantle those chokes I'm not using and did more weapon parts like I had a chance of getting the first time around. Because that money is worth it. Alright, so... High armor. Don't necessarily want to deal with that. If I were to dismantle this, what's the chances of getting something cool? Grip tape. Leather grip. Light weights. Could get a, a, a... It's a low chance of getting a light weight, though. Don't know if I want to throw that away right away. It has a lower AP. So I might decide to go back to it, but probably not. But for now, let's just hold off on destroying it. Crowbar did me a lot of good, you know? And that's more bonus AP for our trusty medical officer. Hey guys. You got dead cow? Two dead cows. Guy hanging out there, holding up his gun, looking real friendly-like. That's... Not how the li a light should look around a fire. Oh well. How do, Rangers? Don't suppose y'all got a medic among ya? Three cows died from gunshot wounds. They're starting to stink. Gross. So he's injured. One look in Howdy's eyes, and it's apparent he doesn't like you very much. Probably because you're the same person. Awkward. 
Uh, any of you. Keep moving, Rangers. We don't need your muscle-bound you muscle bound apes poking your noses into our business. What's your name? Nobody you want to know, and nobody who wants to know you. Keep walking. What happened to Doc? Damn fool went and got himself stabbed. You might be next. What do you think of the Desert Rangers? You Rangers walk around like you're just the boss of everybody, and everybody can kiss your ass. Well, you can kiss mine. You're less than dirt in my book. Would you like to join up? You can just come out with that one? What do you think of the Desert Rangers? Did new You bastards killed my brother and called it- oh shit. So they're saying that he I don't know why it's happening in that- what the fuck? There's a, there's a back and forth between these characters on this over there instead. They're saying that they killed his brother, basically, but his, but then she's like, now, now, bro, your brother was a bandit. And it's like, still doesn't give them the ride or something like that. That was really weird that that was a weird... That wasn't just a normal conversation. Could they not implement a conversation system where, like, the portrait on the right would change between Howdy and the other girl to show the different dialogue happening? Because that was... I, I, I missed the conversation at first because it just showed up in a completely different way. That's a weird way to implement that feature. What happened to your brother? You don't want to talk about that, I'm warning you. <laughs> Just keep pressing on it. Um, do you want to join up with us? Well, for my dead body. I figured as much. I don't want someone looking the same as my other characters anyway. Do you have anything to trade? I'll trade you some bullets for some blood if you don't get lost. Real friendly. What do you think of the Desert Rangers? Why are you still talking to me? Don't make something I'll regret. Or don't make me do something I'll regret. Yeah, that's right, back the fuck off. I'm, there's no confrontation here, buddy. Alright, this guy's not doing great. Scrapping a boombox. Okay, I need everyone to back up. Rangers, bit. don't suppose y'all got a medic among ya. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll help you in a second. Just trying to navigate my party because they're all in the way. Alright, hello friend. A handsome, older black woman with a ready smile. She has some minor wounds on her hands and face, but otherwise looks unhurt. Bless you for stopping, folks. We're in a peck of trouble, and no mistake, got jumped by some raiders just outside the safe zone, and our wounded are gonna bleed out before we can get them to the Mad Monk's hospital. We already lost most of the herd. You ain't got a medic with you by any chance. We'd be glad to trade for some doctoring. What's your name? Name's Jill Yates. Me and Howdy and the boys are driving the herd to the settlements on the far side of DeMonta. At least we was till them raiders laid us low. What can you tell me about the raiders that attacked you? Them bastards whooped us good. If we hadn't skedaddled in here, they probably would have wiped us out entirely. Thank God for Titan's peace. What's Titan's peace? The monks used the fear of Titan to keep us all in line. Everybody knows what the big bastard could do if they woke him up. Alright then, uh, tell me about these monks. They call themselves the Servants of the Mushroom Cloud, but everybody else calls them the Mad Monks, on account of their habit of blowing themselves sky high. <laughs> Crazy as bed bugs, but at least they keep the peace. How do they blow themselves up? Thermonuclear grenades, they call them. <laughs> Got bandoliers of them across their chests. Anybody gives them trouble and boom, off they go. And everybody within a hundred yards goes with them. Maybe you seen all them craters along here? Yep, those were monks once. Now they ain't nothing but Geiger clicks. How'd the raiders get the drop on you? A lot of raiders line wait just out of the canyon, hoping to hit caravans before they enter the monks' safe zone. They wouldn't dare follow us in here, though. They know we'll get a monk escort right quick. They'd be wiped off the face of the earth. Looks like the, uh... The scroll bar's forgetting how to, how to work at the moment again. That just happens every now and then. You think- I don't know, you think that they'd really iron out the details on how that mechanic works when it's like the, the, one of the core mechanics of this game. Uh, oh well. What's with Howdy? Howdy's my ramrod. He keeps the boys in line and the raiders at bay. Awful sore at himself for letting those villains get the drop on us just now, and I'm afraid it's making him a mite ornery. Pay him no mind. 
So are there raiders in the canyon? Oh, sure. There's raiders in the safe zone, too. But they only pick on the cheapskates who ain't promised to pay the tribute, and then poor suckers what lose their monk tag-alongs. As far as the monks are concerned, freeloaders like that are fair game. And you can be sure the raiders pay the tribute just like everybody else. <laughs> they ain't fools. They call it a hunting license. Tribute? What is that? Whoa, now. You come into the canyon of the Mushroom Cloud, and you don't know about tribute? You're gonna get yourself killed. These lands are protected by the mad monks. They keep it nice and peaceful, as long as you're a friend of Titan. And the only way to become a friend of Titan is to pay a tribute. What do they take for tribute? Well, it's a little bit weird. They look you up and down and suss out something special for each group. Something that matches up with what the travelers do. For us traders, it's mostly some of our goods. And as long as you promise to hand some over, they'll give you an escort to the temple where you gotta pay up. With a monk on your back, you're free to go. You got safe passage all through the canyon. The Titan's Peace, they call it. Anybody try to mess with you in here, they face the Titan's wrath, and nobody wants that. Who or what is Titan? Titan is the mad monk's god. God of the mushroom cloud, they call him. And they say he's so strong he could kill every soul in the safe zone and leave it impassable for a thousand years. Everybody in these parts is afraid of old Titan. Raiders, traders, settlers, everybody. And they pay tribute to the mad monks to keep him sleeping nice and sweet under the ground where he belongs and not up here wreaking havoc amongst all in a sundry. I wonder if Titan's some kind of undetonated, uh, an undetonated nuke? Like Megaton? Some of your cows look spooked. Well, ain't you just a ray of sunshine, Rangers? And a deft hand with animals, I bet. I can see it in you. Thank you. Apparently, we said maybe we can calm them down. We do have um, uh, uh, someone that can help with animals. What have you heard about the monk's hospital? The mad monk's got an underground hospital up at the Temple of Titan. Top-notch place. Won't find better anywhere. Always short in supplies, though. That's why they ask for medicine as tribute all the time. You got any eels you can't shake? They'll fix them for you. Easy as pie. And what about this Temple of Titan? That's the monk's bunkhouse. Ain't much to look at on the surface, but it goes deep into the ground. I've been down in their hospital, and I swear it was ten flights down. Felt mighty cramped in there, but they got my gallstones out like they were cherries in a pie. <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. So what is the safe zone? This here canyon is the only way east through the radiated zone. A winding little bit of clean land through the middle of hell. Used to be raiders would hole up here and jump every caravan that tried to come through. But then the mad monk showed up and brought their god with him. And now it's safe as houses, a caravanner's dream. You've heard of Demonta? Lovely little place on the other end of this valley. A trading town, mostly, so there's a lot of coming and going. We'll be passing through there, if we can get up and running again. Why do you need a medic? Poor old Doc took one right in the gut with a dirty knife. Now he's so poorly he can't even open his eyes, which is a crying shame, seeing that he's the best sawbones this side of the Colorado. If you can get him up on his feet again, he could probably fix up the rest of us. I didn't be able to show you a thing or two about setting limbs and such. Oh, maybe he can give me, uh, some sort of book to give me a, a skill bonus. Like I said, Rangers, I'd be much Never obliged if you could take a look at Doc. Cowboys. He's hurt. Don't know why. Well, now you're just, you're just talking over people now, uh, Vulture, and it's rude. Is this one Doc? Whoa. That's a low success rate. Uh, let's try to kill Doc. Come on, man. Come on. Oh wow. First try. Spry and sprightly, now that his gaping wounds have been closed up, he's got a giddy smile twinkle in his eye. Great gosh almighty, that hurts I I why I'm alive, I I thought I was a gunner. Are you responsible for this, Rangers? Then I owe you a debt I cannot repay. When I saw how filthy that Hellspawn's knife was, I was certain well let's said, less said soonest mended, right, eh? 
Ah, uh, thank you. You've saved my life. If there's anything I can do for you in return, all you gotta do is ask. I think I'll live, thanks to these friends of yours. What kind of supplies do you have? You're welcome to anything I have. Just leave enough that I can keep these boys alive until we get to the hospital at the Temple of Titan. Medical supplies. Advanced trauma kit. Requires surgeon skill of four. Heals 25% of health. That's the advanced one? Oh yeah, basic is 10. Anti-venom. Let's see, pain kills, which are things that everyone can use. Pain pills can be used by anyone, regardless of whether or not they have, uh... Oh, they're cheap. Field medic pack. 7 to 100. Is that a full-size one? Small medic pack. Are they, are they selling me these for cheap? Wow, a dollar each. Snake squeezins, suture kit. So there's a chance to get some cheap meds, basically. Except for the fact that he, he hinted at the idea that like, uh, if you're not careful, we could get into trouble, apparently. Let's see. So if I take too much, do they, do they die or something? Maybe I'll leave their pain kits? I'll leave them their basic trauma kits. I gotta grab these advanced ones, right? I feel like if I take everything, I'll be in trouble here. Sell junk. Uh, I have, t I have two thousand right now. Wow. Do I not have? Do you, did you not sell your junk? Oh, we're probably too. F we're, she's probably too far away to sell the junk to her. Removes all bleeding effects. Huh. I want the trauma kits, but I'm also a little worried about getting these people killed. So, there was a vague hint there. I'll grab one of these. You're welcome. To, uh, let's see. What have you heard about the monks' hospital? The monks may be crazy, but they run a fine facility. Best doctors in these parts by a long shot. I can, I can patch up a man or set his bones, but. They can cure diseases I don't even know the names of. They probably have a bunch of old information up there in that building. It's- they're probably in a building that has been around since before the apocalypse happened. They probably have original- all their original- It's probably a military building. And they probably have some- a whole bunch of uh, medical documents to help them do these things that other people can't anymore. What kind of supplies do you have? We already talked about that. So the main thing there is that they, uh, is that he could just help me with a, uh... Sorry, being slightly distracted here. Uh, regroup the party a little bit. There we go. The main thing going on there was just the fact that, uh, he could help me get supplies. Hey, 100% chance of Animal Whisperer. Let's fix these guys up. Using your practice skills dealing with animals, you help calm the cow. They're not interested in following you, but Jill and Howdy, well... They seem to appreciate it. Maybe if I rescue that guy and calm down all of the cows, how do you stop being a dick? And be cooler with us? After I fix their whole goddamn party for them? There we go. Three cows dead from gunshot wounds. Th this guy over here. This man is on death's door. Uh, he's... In much worse shape than Doc. Let's see if I can do anything for him. Probably in trouble here. Zero percent chance. Doc's gonna have to get busy if he's gonna save him. Any improvement here? I can keep pressuring him, but I feel like that's gonna end poorly for me. I don't. I don't feel the need to keep pressuring people. Like like when that other guy said, "Don't don't ask me about my leg." Let's take a look around. We, looks like we're gonna be here for a while. There's definitely some more places to check out. Oh, right. Th that, so down there is the raided camp. We saw some people over there. Alright, guys. I think this is a, good, a decent place to stop it for now. So thanks for watching, like always. And next time we're gonna find out what's going on with the raided camp. Your real life savers, Rangers. And, th and this place in general. Doc's okay? <laughs> That's terrific. He'll be able to take care of the boys now. Thank you, Rangers. Old Doc would have died without you. Here. Let me give you what I promised you. Pass me your map, Rangers.
If you head out towards Demonta, stop right here. You gotta pass through some nasty rads, but it is worth it. Bam, new shrine. I wish they would check off the shrines for which ones I've been to so far, just so I could tell you a little bit easier, but that's fine. Uh, we calm down your herd. Ah, oh, bless your heart. Thank you so much. Now we can get back on the trail. I hate to do this, but you seem like such kindly folks. Could I ask you for one more favor before you go? My best wrangler, Bart, went off to find the first checkpoint, hoping to figure out some tribute and get us a monk escort. That was about four hours ago. He should have been back three times over by now, and I'm right worried. So here's what I'm asking. Keep your eyes open for Bart. If he's in trouble, help him out and send him on to DeMonta. You do that, and I'll make sure you're treated like royalty when you make it to DeMonta yourselves. What's with all the checkpoints? The monks got checkpoints all along the valley to make sure everybody's keeping Titan's peace, and to make sure they all got their tribute with him. Anybody step out of line, BOOM! <laughs> One of them monks will blow him to kingdom come, and himself too. What can you tell us about Bart? Well, he's not a talker, I can tell you that much. He's got a dead-eye aim with a rifle, and he can move through most places without anyone knowing he's there. He can usually take care of himself, but sometimes he misses what's right in front of his face. Thanks again for looking after Doc. You're lifesavers. Alright, we saved our medic, we fixed their herd, now we need to find their missing man. So, that'll be good for that'll be good for next time. Thanks for watching like always. I'll see you next time.